Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install the servos. So what we want to do before you install the servos is check your system out, make sure your radio is all working. Now we're going to have uh, up and down. Basically you're going to plug your battery into where it says B on your receiver. Uh, channels 1 and 6 if you're going to use the multi-function uh, for your aerons. You're either going to need a Y connector or you're going to need uh, two, two servos with two extensions to go through the wing. Mine are hooked up on 1 and 6, so basically I programmed that into my, my box. And uh, so left is and right for the aerons that's on the wing. Um, so basically what's going to happen is I'll, I'll give you the rundown later more or less in, but uh, channel 1 and channel 6 are the aerons, channel 2 is the elevator, channel 3 is the throttle, and channel 4 is the rudder. So you got your rudder on this stick, you got your aerons on this stick, you got your elevator on this stick, and you got your throttle on this stick. And I also have a flap on control, which will bring both your aerons down or up equally to create lift or drag on the wing. Okay, for this next part we're going to install the rudder servo. The rudder servo is going to go, if you are looking at the airplane this way, I put the rudder servo on the right side, no special reason, you can do either side you want. You're going to flip the plane up on its side, expose your hole here. Um, you're going to want four of these rubber grommets. One's going to go on each side of the two slide, or the servo. So basically you're just going to put one on the top of each side. And then you're going to want the bottom two to have these four little silver grommets. I don't know if you can see them or not. Lots of shadows. Anyway, these little grommets go underneath. The flat side goes down. And it just pokes right through the servo. But this helps the screw stop. And you want the rubber grommet here just for uh, keeping the vibration off the servo. So basically, you're just going to take that and place it in there with the flat side of the the silver piece collar, the silver collar down. Okay, so we got one side done. I'm going to do the other side, but that's what it looks like. You got your flat sides of the collars down and two rubber grommets, square, round, whatever you have with your servo. So uh, put in the other side. Okay, now I got both sides in. So the other thing you're going to want is a servo extension. So this is going to travel from the fuselage the hole right all the way up through and into the area where your receiver is going to be. So put your servo extension together. And this just makes it a little easier to get it in there. Now you can use a string and a weight or something like that. All right, once you get your servo connection together too, make sure you use some masking tape or I usually use masking tape because I can write on it. So if I want to write something on it, let's put some air on. Just a couple pieces of masking tape just to make sure your connection is going to stay together and then feed that through the fuselage. And then the way I do it is just feed it into the fuselage hole. Maybe I got it close enough where I can hold it up. A little bit of shaking. It's a good durability test for the plane as well. The servo wires in, coming out the front of your fuselage. Just pop your servo in and don't force it, you know, be easy with it. It should go right in from the way you cut your holes. Uh, slowly pull the wire through a little bit more and just drop that baby right down in. Now right now I just got a regular small arm and I'm going to kind of look and see where my arm goes to and uh, right where my control horn is going to be is down in the middle here. So I'm going to want my, on the rudder side I want it low. So I'm going to come down low onto the rudder. So this is the control horn I'm on there now. But usually I use these babies. They're over throwers for 3D. So it's a nice big control horn there as you can see so you can get plenty of throw on your surface. Okay, i crack those. There we go. So now we're going to make sure that that's going to be okay. And you're just going to take a drill. Three drill four holes. And you just want a thin drill for a pilot. Nothing major. Don't go too far. You don't want to Want to make sure you don't drop yourself into the other servo that's in there or drill through your wire. Put your screw in and just make it snug down flush. You want to over tighten it. You don't want it too loose, but that's once mostly the fuselage is going to hold your servo. But there we go. So I got one in. Everything's looking solid. I'm going to go ahead and drill the rest of the four holes out. I'm going to drop my 
four screws in, and there you go, the rudder servo is installed. Now do the same thing for the elevator servo. On the other side, um, you're going to want the arm of your elevator servo up though. So on your elevator servo, you want your control arm up, so it's coming right below the, the stabilizer. And that's all that you need to do to get your elevator and your uh, rudder servos in. And then uh, we get all the servos installed, and I'll go back and put all the control lines in. But for right now, that's what you do here. That's what you do for every servo. It's the same way you're going to do it for the wing. I'll show you how to get the wire through the wing or whatever, and uh, that's, that's it. And, of course, don't forget when you put in your... I'm just going to use a small one now. Don't forget your servo arm control screw. I can't talk this morning. I haven't had my first cup of coffee yet, but I thought I'd get a quick film in here to throw the servo in. But you want to make sure that baby's on, because that pops off, you don't have control of the aircraft any longer. So there you go, one mounted servo. You're going to do the other side, just the same way, but you want to make sure that your control horn is up, so it's going directly underneath your elevator. Um, you could have it down too, it makes not a big deal, but I like it as, as hidden as possible. So there we go, there's your servo. Put your elevator servo in on this side, and you want the arms towards the back as well, as long as they're not going to interfere with your stabilizer. If you have to turn it around and put it this way, that's okay, use a little bit longer of a rough. And uh, then you're going to go ahead and install your throttle servo. Same way, just drop it right into your throttle plate and look for where your throttle hole is so you got it on the right side so you don't have to pop it back out and turn it around again. But that'll be your throttle servo. So go ahead and install your fuselage servos. That's all.